Hello guys and welcome back in this requested video from this cool guy He wants a V8 diesel And I said before 1 million times that this game does not support diesel engine Right? Okay, um, but some I saw on the internet that people try to make diesel engines using 100 octane fuel uh, Because as we all know diesel doesn't have a knocking percentage or knocking the knocking problem that uh, exists in petrol engines so let's try and make at least make it at least you know sound like it or look like it or you know at least the torque looks like a petrol or a diesel engine so and also he gave me some some specifications that I have to you know follow his name is Charlie Anderson he says so to give you more specific combinations of the parts, I think I will make it work first. Use 90 degree, okay, 90 degree, angle block, second, use more stroke, okay, 90 degree what? I think, yeah, he wants V8, okay. Second, use, or he, doesn't, he did not say anything about the material, so I'm going to use cast iron because all diesels are cast iron, I think, because, you know, they are more durable than aluminium and Aluminium silicon. So let's see. And also, I said use more stroke. Use more stroke, and he wants it to be 7,400 cc. So let's let's hit start hitting the stroke. So we hit, as you can see, maximum stroke and lowest bore. I will hit 6,107. So to now increase the bore, then. So 7,405. The maximum stroke, the least bore. 7,400. Alright, 7.4 liter. That's what he wants. He said also use. He did not mention dual or single overhead cam. I'm gonna use dual for valves. Cast iron vapor valve lift, as he said. Right, he wants a built steel crank, titanium ro rods, forged pistons. Oh yes, because of the torque. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Plus two quality, you know, for good measurement. Since this is going to be a semi-diesel engine, the compression should be extremely high. But you know, I'm going to stick to ten for a start. And the torque should be... I don't know, let's see. He wants the maximum torque, so we have to use the least amount of cam profile and let's say 50 here. Variable, variable valve timing, yes, he wants also variable, variable valve timing. Next, turbocharged, ball bearing, large fuel economy because I'm aiming for the most amount of torque plus two again, direct injection right, he did not mention anything about a single or a twin so twin standard 100 because you know we are aiming like a diesel but it's not a diesel one so let's use ultimate 13.7 6,000 maybe less plus 2 dual high flow 3 way, first flow straight through and plus 2 again as you can see the torque is good 589 pound feet of torque and the power is 409 he wants the power to be at least 600 and he wants the torque to be from 1400 RPM to 1800 from here to here and my friend I think that's impossible because even if I made the cam profile you know the, the latest amount which is zero and if I made this one 23 you have to choose between because this is, a, this is a petrol engine, you have to choose between power and 
power and torque. But let's be honest, I'm gonna try and make it. So he wants the turbine to be smaller than the compressor. Alright, so yes, we can make the torque, all of it, to be at 15 RPM, 1500. Sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred. All right, so eighteen, seventeen hundred then. So the torque is six hundred and four pound feet of torque at seventeen hundred RPM. But the power—that's where that's where all the prob problems of how it happen. Because even if look, I use and now I'm using extremely amount of boost. The more boost I use, the light the torque will be. So this is it. This is it. 750 pound-feet of torque at 1800 RPM. Right. Eight hundred and ten pound feet of torque. I'm sorry, I, I cannot make it you know, six hundred horsepower. It's impossible. I can make it like four hundred horsepower, but not six hundred. The exhaust is super restrictive. So 832 pound feet of torque at 1800 RPM and 407 horsepower. That's it. The game is extremely choppy. So this is the maximum. Look at, this, look at the turbos, how small they are. I don't think that you can you can make a diesel one in the game because uh, when you put it to low, like zero or ten or five or seven or twenty, the engine will be smooth. It will sound so silent, so so peaceful but it would not sound uh, like a diesel engine no never it cannot sound like that. I, I think the, the engines that can sound like a diesel it's like an inline four and line six these at, at certain you know cam profiles you can put them and make it make them like a diesel one but this one I know this one makes ton of torque 832 pound feet but it will never sound like a diesel and also it will never ever get to 600 horsepower never with this because you want all the torque at this point here at 1799 as you can see this is the this is the maximum here and if i started to make the turbo spool at higher rpms it, you will lose the torque here and I will gain more horsepower. So at, in petrol engines you have to choose between power or torque. 
still 400 horsepower is good because 400 horsepower for a 7.4 liter engine it's an easy thing the engine is actually doing nothing it's just the, the turbos are choking the hell out of it at, at high rpms but the turbos are helping at low rpms so this engine can only be used at uh, you know low rpms even and, and also you cannot make a, a, you know a diesel engine rift up to 4000 rpm 3000 3, considered destroying the diesel engine unless you're driving an Audi So I consider this engine pretty you know, good because uh, I, I will only set the maximum RPM at 3000 and that's it, job done. It's not econom economical, I know, it's freaking heavy, it's big, it's passive, but the, but the, but the torque is good. <laughs> wow. So again. Thank you so much for exploring this, you know, this section. I know it, it, this video has been a failure, but thank you so much, so much, Mr. Charlie Anderson. But let me show you, Mr. Charlie, if we switched to a inline six engine. Look at the torque; still huge, still 667. This is how it looks. I think this is how it will sound. As you can see, this is a diesel engine. Yes, now this is a diesel engine. So let's try and make this one like a diesel engine. And look at the torque, 1500 RPM. Fourteen hundred RPM. You can get all the torque you want. Eighteen psi. Eighteen is enough. Eighteen more. Eighteen and a half. Seven hundred and four. All right, so 281 horsepower. But how much is this engine size? It's a five. Oh my God, it's a 5.5 liter inline six engine. Let's make it a 5.7. Yes, I know it's a massive engine, but this way. All right, 275 horsepower, 720 pound-feet of torque at 1500 RPM. Now that's nice. Now I'm not gonna rip it higher. Look at it. Look at it. Let's see it again. Diesel. And one more thing, why should I use titanium? Why I'm not using crappy cast ones? Let's see, uh, these can take... Not this one to get destroyed. This one can take it. Ew, no. Heavy duty forged, heavy duty cast. So heavy duty forged. Lightweight Forge can take it in as well. This one will make, make it smoother. Right. Connecting rods. Yes, so as you can see, the numbers now are consistent. 789, 789. This is the max torque these, these uh, components can take. I know they are, you know, very, very close to the uh, to the you know uh, to the uh, to the current torque, but this way it's cheaper to make. 
Let's save this bad boy. Diesel! like diesel looks like diesel and it certainly makes good a good torque 720 pound feet of torque and then listen to it sounds amazing uh, and you're wondering why these are glowing red because there's an error in the game as you can see if, if I raise the rpm the look look at this. this this is the vacuum gauge here if I raise the rpm this way it will, it will shut down it's like it's like the uh, throttle Total butterfly, it's closed right now, and when I release it to zero, the throttle, it will open up. And when it's open up, I think the game is has is programmed to make these glow red, as am I, you know, as if I were, you know, what do you call it, hitting the throttle to the max. This is an error in the game, and they they, they should fix it. I always I always raise the RPM, and as you can see, it it dropped. They got back black again. Sorry if I'm talking like weirdly because I got the cold and I don't feel really, really feel well. But okay, uh, this is it. This is the Charlie Anderson request. We made the V8. It it wasn't really successful, but this is a a cool diesel one. Listen to it. Amazing. Let's hear it again. Fifteen PSI boost. I know we are we are pro we have programmed the ECU to eighteen, but the real numbers are not lying. Seven hundred and Alright, so it's, it's 7.20, it's 7.19 now. This is how it looks, this is how it sounds. Turbochargers are... Oh, okay. Turbochargers kicking, I like it. And these are the focus. If I want, I can use a single one. Eh, why not a single one? It would be cheaper also to make. Sounds awesome. I like it. I hope you really guys enjoyed this video. This is this is a making a diesel engine by uh, by a cool fan. His name is Charlie Anderson. He requested a 90 degrees V8. I made it and it wasn't really that successful. I mean, I know it produced so much torque. It produced 800 and something more than this one, but it didn't sound like diesel. It sounds like a V12. So smooth, so silent. But this one, this N line six, sounded like a diesel. And I hope, I hope, Mr. Charlie, that you like it, and I hope everyone like it. And let's let's name it D. 
the 720 as, as the pound feet D720 I6 I forgot the dash here all right D720 dash I6 the variant is cast turbo what's the AS5 dash 5.7 liter turbo So I hope you guys enjoy it. This was this was, this is a huge engine, and I think I can stick it in some uh, pickup truck or something to make it you know, to make a perfect utility vehicle. I know the fuel economy is really really crappy because this is not a diesel engine. This is a petrol engine, but it sounds like diesel. Again, this is not diesel. They're, I'm not using any mods or anything. This is regular. I'm using as you see. What is it? 100 octane fuel. Direct, in direct, direct injection, single, standard, these are the RPM, ignition and A ratio, A A fuel ratio, sorry. These are the VVL and the cam profile and the compression. These are the parts, are the internals, forged, high, high duty cast, lightweight forged, pretty normal. And if you are wondering why I'm not using... All right, this so I'm gonna use heavy duty cast instead. How the hell do they look? They look pretty normal. They sound the same too. <laughs> All right, so heavy duty cast then, because these are the most common, you know, diesel parts. Everything is heavy duty, forged steel, heavy duty cast, connecting rods, heavy duty cast, pistons. These are the usual diesel internals. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is a new experience for me. And I hope you, if you like this video, again, hit that hit that like button, smash it hard. And if you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing and help me to reach 300 subscribers and more. And when we reach 300 subscribers, I'm gonna make a special video for you guys. So I hope we can reach it as fast as we can, so we can, you know, see this cool video and start seeing it every day. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell button, so we can, so you can have a not notification when I release a new video. And again, I, I apologize for my voice and for my language today because, uh, as I said, I caught the cold. I caught it before, but I. Did I'm not healed yet, and I have an amazing, amazing and horrible headache, headache right now. So, uh, excuse me, I have to go again. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you later. Wish me luck. I wish you all the best and goodbye.